Numbers chapter 33, verses 1 through 56. These are the departures of the children of Israel who went out of the land of Mitzrayim by their divisions under the hand of Moshe and Aaron. And Moshe wrote down the starting points of their departures at the mouth of Yahweh, and these are their departures according to their starting points. So they departed from Ramses in the first new moon on the fifteenth day of the first new moon. On the morrow of the Pesach, the children of Israel went out with a boldness before the eyes of all the Mitzrites, and the Mitzrites were burying all their firstborn, whom Yahweh had stricken among them. Also, on their mighty ones, Yahweh had executed judgments. Then the children of Israel departed from Ramses and camped at Sukkot. And they, camp, and they departed from Sukkot and camped at Etham, which is on the edge of the wilderness. And they departed from Etham and turned back to Pi-Hahiroth, which is east of baal Safan. And they camped near Migdal, and they departed from before Hahiroth and passed over through the midst of the sea into the wilderness, went three days' journey in the wilderness of Etham, and camped at Mara. And they departed from Mara and came to Elam. And at Elam were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees, so they camped there. And they departed from Elam and camped at the Sea of Reeds. And they departed from the Sea of Reeds and camped in the wilderness of Sin. And they departed from the wilderness of Sin and camped at Dovka. And they departed from Dovka and camped at Alush. And they departed from Alush and camped at Rephidim, and there was no water for the people to drink. And they departed from Rephidim and camped in the wilderness of Sinai. And they departed from the wilderness of Sinai and camped at Hibroth Hataawa. And they departed from Kibroth Hataawa and camped at Hatseroth. And they departed from Hatseroth and camped at Rithma. And they departed from Rithma and camped at Rimon Peretz. And they departed from Rimon Peretz and camped at Libna. And they departed from Libna and camped at Risa. And they departed from Risa and camped at Kehelath. And they departed from Kehelath and departed at Mount Shafer. And they departed from Mount Shafer and camped at Harada. And they departed from Harada and camped at Machelath. And they departed from Machelath and camped at Tahath. And they departed from Tahath and camped at Terah. And they departed from Terah and camped at Mithka. And they departed from Mithka and camped at Hashmona. And they departed from Hashmona and camped at Moseroth. And they departed from Moseroth and camped at Benai Yaakan. And they departed from Benai Yaakan and camped at Hor Hagidgad. And they departed from Hor Hagidgad and camped at Yothbaha. And they departed from Yothbatha and camped at Abrona. And they departed from Abrona and camped at Etzion Geber. And they departed from Etzion Geber and camped in the wilderness of Sin, which is Kadesh. And they departed from Kadesh and camped at Mount Hor on the boundary of the land of Edom. Then Aaron the priest went up to Mount Hor at the mouth of Yahweh and died there in the fortieth year after the children of Israel had come out of the land of Mitzrayim on the first day of the fifth new moon. Now Aaron was one hundred and twenty years old when he died on Mount Hor. And the sovereign of Arad the Canaanite who dwelt in the south in the land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the children of Israel. So they departed from Mount Hor and camped at Salmona. And they departed from Salmona and camped at Punan. And they departed from Punan and camped at Oboth. And they departed from Oboth and camped at Iye Ha'abarim, at the border of Moab. And they departed from Iyam, Iyim, and camped at Debon Gad. And they departed from Debon Gad and camped at Almon Diblayathema. And they departed from Almon Diblathayema, and camped in the mountains of Abarim before Nebo. And they departed from the mountains of Abarim, and camped in the desert plains of Moab by the Yarden of Yerecho. And they camped by the Yarden from Beth Yeshimoth 
as far as the Abel Shatim in the desert plains of Moab. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe in the desert plains of Moab by the Yarden of Yeriho, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, When you have passed over the Yarden into the land of Canaan, then you shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you, and shall destroy all their engraved stones, and shall destroy all their molded images, and lay waste all their high places, and you shall possess the land and dwell in it. For I have given you the land to possess, and you shall divide the land by lot as an inheritance among your clans. To the larger you give a larger inheritance, and to the smaller you give a smaller inheritance. Wherever the lot falls to anyone, that is his. You inherit according to the tribes of your fathers. And if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall be that those whom you let remain shall be pricks in your eyes and thorns in your sides, and they shall trouble you in the land where you dwell. And it shall be that I do to you as I thought to do to them.